All right, Sandy Fire here. Um, you know the the real battle royale player, PUBG. And I'm gonna challenge one of the Fortnite players. They're gonna send the best man against me in this death row. Uh, might be dangerous, but we'll see. And it's gonna be a challenge. We're going from there, and we have no idea what's in there, but we're going from there, and we come out of there, and the winner. You know, the loser needs to do what? Yeah. A backflip. A backflip. Yeah. All right. A backflip. Oh, that's a tough though. <laughs> Alright, so if we want to do the same as them. Okay. Alright, All right, so over, below, over, through the rings, and over the boom. Okay? And the rest, hold your line, not in the middle, no one on the side. Go right through the orange barrier and then. Over, okay. under, over? Yeah. One hand in, one hand on your back. Three, two, one, go! The fucking. Because I basically jumped down the first yeah. small one there and I slammed straight into the wall. I was like, shit, I need to climb here. That's why you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Such a hard one. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. Everybody ready? Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> awesome. My name is Jeff Pax and I play uh, Fortnite for the Meta team. My competitive background before Fortnite is playing Vainglory, where I did play for SK Gaming. And uh, I decided like half a year ago to pursue Fortnite. It's currently going really well. And we're here at DreamHack, where I did finish second place. So I'm Noisy, I'm the team captain for this team. Uh, and I, I've been playing Fortnite since, since it came out basically. But before I played Fortnite, I played H1Z1, uh, where I competed at the $250,000 LAN at DreamHack Winter last year. When the game started going downhill, I just decided to switch and this opportunity is really great. I'm Martin Creek, and I play for uh, Method. Uh, I used to play a lot of Hearthstone for uh, SK Gaming back in the day, for about two years. And then I discovered Fortnite and it just consumed me. And I've been playing it a lot ever since. My name is Rasmussen and I play for Method. And I have not really had a really competitive background, but I've been playing video games since I was really small. And I've always had the chance to get good at games if I really put the time into it. But Fortnite is like the game that I feel like I could get good at. So that's the reason to why I spend so much time playing it. I'm a Fixter. I play for Method and the Fortnite team. And uh, I came from playing Counter-Strike back in the days, but I haven't been playing on a super high level. But I am really enjoying Fortnite at the current state. And it's developing into something I really like. We all met each other on the last DreamHack, DreamHack Winter, and we started playing a lot ever since. And after two months in, we decided it was time to find a team. We really liked the game, we wanted to go competitive, and we looked up Method. And we all know Method from back in the day, from World of Warcraft, and it really seemed like a stable place to be. And um, yeah, we heard back from them, and it all worked out. They're really nice guys, and uh, yeah. Personally, I really love the Fortnite meta at the moment, in squads in particular, uh, and solos actually. I really love the base building part of Fortnite, which is like, not everybody loves it, but I mean, I personally do. On the contrary to what people believe about watching Fortnite squads, I think it's actually going to be an enjoyable experience to watch because the rotations that teams take are really interesting, how they gather resources and how they deal with scouting for other teams, positioning on the map, taking high ground, who takes the high ground, who takes the low ground. I think that's like super interesting dynamics and you see a lot more of that in squads than you do in solos and duos, which is one of the reasons I favor squads. My second favorite game mode though is solos and I like it because it's every man for himself, literally, and you can only blame yourself if you lose. You can always like show off your mechanics if you're a good builder, a good fighter. To summarize, I just really love the meta at the moment, and I lo also love the fact that they're adding new items all the time. Personally, I'm really a fan of the jetpack item, 
and other uh, limited time items that are in the game. I know that's not what other people think, but I really love how they keep the meta fresh by always adding new things, always balancing things, and also talking with their community. So Epic announcing the $100 million prize pool is absolutely crazy, like it's a lot of money. And um, they also announced that they're going to focus on solos and duos for, uh, during 2018 to 2019. And I mean, it's perfectly fine. It's, we, we can all adapt in the team, but our main game mode is squads and that's what we're the best at. But yeah, like it's only during 2018 to 2019. So there's also a big, big chance that the next season is going to have a bigger focus in squads. Uh, as well. So we, we really like the announcement and uh, we can't wait to see what's in store for the future. There's a lot of big players who got signed by big organizations. Meanwhile, the, the EO scene is like not showing their full potential, but the organizations aren't signing these players, but they're super good and can compare themselves to NA. And even though we face them sometimes and then we have fair matches against them, so the EU scene is really competitive as well. But we don't have the same opportunity to get signed by big org as the NA scene has currently. But when it comes to custom games in the future, they will see that the EU teams can compete. North America has all the big streamers pretty much. All eyes are on the North American region. Pretty much like every viewer on Twitch is watching the big North American streamers, while EU is more on the down low. Sure, we have our big streamers as well, but there's a lot of players that people don't know at all uh, that are extremely good. And EU is a very, very competitive region, and we have extremely strong players that are very unknown at this moment. We're excited for for the competitive season to start so that the unknown players in EU can show that they are very competitive and that they com can compete at the highest level.